In today's video, see nacho cheese. This is my happy place. Okay. <gasps> We're gonna be trying some food here in Napa, Idaho from Pablo's Tacos. This is a food truck I saw on the side of the road as I was driving by, and you know me, I love my tacos, so we gotta give it a try, and I hear they have nachos, so let's go. I gotta tell you, this is a drive through food truck, so I'm gonna drive up in my pretend car and I'm gonna order something, so come along for the ride. All right, first thing I'm noticing here, established in San Diego, that makes my heart happy. Pablo, nice to, meet you. nice to meet you. I'm Ken, San Diego. You come from San Diego. How long have you been up here in Idaho? Uh, I think we've gone for four years. Four years, okay. What is your top item here at this food truck that people order? We got Idaho burrito, California burrito, and breakfast destroyer burrito. Breakfast destroyer burrito? It's not breakfast time, so I don't think we're gonna be destroying anything right now. Okay, I'm a taco and I'm a nachos guy. When it says nacho cheese here, is that the runny cheese? Yeah. Right. You guys, we have found it. This is my happy place. When I see nacho cheese, this is my happy place. Okay, we gotta go Supreme Nachos, carne asada quesadilla. Greg, the man behind Go Idaho, the vision of Go Idaho is behind the camera today, so I'm making the boss work today. But, you know, it's kind of fun. But we have to do some tacos. I'm feeling good because Pablo's from San Diego. It's really hard to find good street tacos, good Mexican food here in Idaho, but I think we're in the right area. Nampa, Idaho has a lot of good Mexican food, so if you're looking for Mexican food, Nampa, Idaho is the place to find it. I don't know what's gonna happen here. I'm hoping it's delicious, so you're gonna find out. Supreme Nachos have come out, and look at this beautiful display of nachos. I'm just gonna try the carne asada by itself because this is important. Meat is very important. I know this is coming on taco, but might as well do it since we have the nachos. So here we go. Oh, it's soft, very tender. I was kind of worried. I, you never know for the food truck, right? Now this is interesting. Look at the uh, guacamole, a lot of tomato here. I'm not a huge tomato guy, so I'm gonna see how this is gonna be. Looks like we have another person, person coming through the drive-thru. We gotta get out of the way here. Remember, this is a drive-thru, it's not a walk-up. I mean, we walked up, but it's a drive-thru. So just in case you want to stop by here, Garrity and Kings Road, that's where we are. Cars are driving by. This is what food trucking is all about, guys. The thing I noticed, we got two different kinds of cheeses. We got nacho cheese and we got shredded cheese on top. That's really all we got, plus the steak. There's no uh, onions. There's no cilantro. We just have the guacamole and sour cream. This is a what I would call uh, like a dirty man's nachos right here. Just We just want that cheese and that meat. So here we go. Chips are important, restaurant style chips. I can tell these are probably made here. Your typical nacho cheese, runny cheese, this is made like in a factory somewhere. This isn't real cheese, but it's still delicious. I don't even think if you just put regular shredded cheese on top of chips, that really counts as nachos. That's just my opinion. Don't hate, put it down in the comments. Yes, runny cheese or no runny cheese. And then I'm gonna try this guacamole on there. We're gonna throw it on there. There's some onion in there. I see the onion inside the guacamole, here we go. Not the guacamole that I'm used to. Guacamole to me is usually a lot thicker. Oh, wow. I just got a really nice flavor. I don't know where that came from. I think that's the guacamole. I think there's some jalapenos in there, guys. I think you tricked me. Well done, Pablo. First things first, we're gonna try each kind of the taco first, just the meat itself, because the meat's the most important. Pollo asada, one of my favorites. But again, we got tender meat going on. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's get, we already tried the asada, so we're gonna go straight to the pastor. And the coloring is so important on this pastor. And it's got it, it's got that nice coloring in there. Oh. Oh, the pastor. Holy smokes, Batman, that was good. Mm-hmm. You know when you bite in something, just takes you to that happy place, and you forget what's going on around you for a few seconds? That just happened with that bite. We have onions, we have got cilantro. He also threw that little guacamole in there, that little avocado sauce. I'm gonna call it avocado sauce because it's not like a thick guacamole. And I think a little bit of green sauce, a little verde in there. Now let's try the chicken, pollo asada, taco. Here we go. Somebody asked me once, why do you take such big bites when you do these food reviews? Because I need to get all the flavors. I can't just get the end of the taco. I gotta get all the middle. I gotta get, I gotta get the whole thing. Um, pollo asada, eh, it's okay. Not a huge fan of it, it's okay. But the pastor, top notch. You gotta chase it with a chili too, guys. 
Oh, that's good. Roasted. Oh, this is the big moment because every food truck, if you're going to have a food truck, taco food truck, you have to make a good carne asada. If you don't, you're out. Sorry. I've had better flavored carne asada meat, but it is very tender. So I'm going to give him Pablo that. Good credit, Pablo. But the pastor steals the cake. By far the best. Done. Hands down. So as you can see, we have changed locations and the cars were just getting a little too loud as we're eating there on the side of the road. It was just getting a little too crazy. So we are back here at the Goido studio. No problem. Finished eating the food and I'm going to give you my thoughts right now on all of this food from Pablo's Tacos. So I did steal a little bit of the quesadilla from Greg. Greg, thank you for the quesadilla. I appreciate that. But now the quesadilla was big, very big lots of cheese, lots of meat inside. However, there was also pico de gallo and guacamole in there. And for me, I would rather the pico not be in the quesadilla. I want just the meat, I want the cheese, and then let me decide if I want to put the pico de gallo on or the salsa. You know, that's, let me decide, okay? Anyway, but overall, very good quesadilla. I'm not gonna complain about it, not bad at all. And as you can see, I didn't finish all of the food. It was a lot of food. You blew it! Let's talk about overall value. We paid about $30, just over $30 for all of this food for three tacos, some nachos, and a quesadilla. It might be slightly priced a little too high. That's just my personal opinion um, for what we got. Now, however, the quesadilla was monstrous. It was huge. The nachos, a lot going on on these nachos. And the tacos are actually bigger than a typical street taco. So keep that in mind. However, I do think for only five items, that might be a little bit much, especially coming just from a tr food truck on the side of the road. But I'm a food truck on the side of the road kind of guy, so I'm okay with it. My favorite item out of this food truck, out of Pablo's truck, was the Al Pastor taco. 8.2 out of 10. Least favorite item was the Pollo Asada taco. I was really disappointed with the chicken on here. I love chicken, it's actually my favorite meat, and I was expecting more from it. It just didn't have the pop, didn't have the flavor I was looking for. Sometimes there's a little limon in there and a little, I just, it didn't, it just didn't pop for me. So that alone, I'm just giving like a 6.2 because the meat was very tender. So I give you credit for that because I've had some really dry chicken meat. Oof, that's rough. Overall score for Pablo's Tacos, I'm going to give a 7.2. Now keep in mind, to get a 10, you have to be the best of the best, right? Like the best in the world for me. I've had a lot of tacos about a lot of food. I am a foodie, so it's gonna be tough to get to a 10. So a 7.2 is not shabby at all. That's a very decent score. And what I recommend if you're driving by Pablo's Tacos, you just want a quick taco or a quick bite to eat to stop in. Yeah, I would. I would. I have no problem with it. I would absolutely swing back by. Actually, I would bring my car this time. I wouldn't be on foot, but I would swing back by and grab some food. So that wraps it up from Pablo's Tacos in Nampa, Idaho. If you want to see more food truck reviews or other food reviews right here at Go Out Eats, click this video right here. Bang, bang,